All right, people, what's up, everyone, and welcome to another video for the month of Gore 2019. I'm here to do another movie review, and I'm here to make it right, because I've only done two other movie reviews so far this month. I apologize, everything else has been reactions and game stuff, but of course, my last review was yesterday. I did a review for Zombieland, the original 2009, I would say comedy horror classic in, at this point, uh, at least like recent classic, I don't know. Uh, technically last decade, 2009, so you know, it's not even part of this decade in film. So it's been a little while, 10 years since that, so we've been wanting a sequel for a very long time. I remember thinking like, they should do a sequel a couple years later and then that'll be great. And then we got like a reunion between Woody Harrelson and Jesse Eisenberg in that magic movie. Now you see me. I was like, that's cool. These guys really work together. They should make another Zombieland movie. And then years and years and years. And there, there was a sequel to Now You See Me 2. But there, I mean, Now You See Me 1. Uh, now You See Me 2. Uh, but there was no sequel to Zombieland. I'm like, when the hell are we going to get one? And 10 years later, we got it. Bam, there it is. Zombieland Double Tap. It's finally out. And the trailers were worrying me very much because it looked looked like one of those typical comedy sequels where it's just like oh let's put more of what everybody liked in the original all the rules oh no up or shut up uh whatever just you know tallahassee, tallahassee being funny you know it's just, it looked like it was being more of the same besides actually being a movie that was worth making and maybe that's why it took 10 years maybe they just couldn't figure out a way to do a sequel because the first movie ended in a way that's like yeah there you go that, i mean they can wrap it up there I, I mean i would like a sequel if they can think of a good way to do it but th sadly this is no 22 jump street <laughs> this is not a movie that uh really benefits from being a sequel and doesn't really make fun of itself enough to actually be kind of charming in its own way even though it's telling the same exact story this is a different story it's just not a movie that's worth existing i should say <laughs> i don't hate this movie i'm gonna tell you right here i do not hate it for the most part i'm just happy to see everybody back once again killing zombies uh cracking jokes uh hanging out I, I i enjoyed watching all these characters and every actor does a good job of portraying the character they played 10 years ago so it's not like it's been so long where these characters or these actors don't really play these type of characters anymore woody harrelson since then hasn't really done a ton of comedy i mean he does some here and there but for the most part he's he's done a lot of drama stuff with like uh, three billboards and uh war for the planet apes and even that what was that uh yeah did he play a present too i forgot what uh, jb uh he played a president. I forgot what movie. Uh, I forgot what president, too. Uh, but, you know, he's been, even been in, like, some shows, I think. Some miniseries and stuff. So so he does comedy here and there. Don't get me wrong. But for the most part, he's been doing a lot of drama. Jesse Eisenberg, of course, he, ever since then, he got an Academy Award nomination. And he's been in a bunch of other stuff. He's, he, was in, he was in Batman v Superman. I forget about that. But, you know, he played Jesse Eisenberg. So I wasn't expecting him not to f be as good. But Emma Stone, she won an Academy Award since. Abigail Breslin, she's been, you know, doing whatever. She's grown up since then. So I thought this would be a weird, like, a weird a weird reunion that wouldn't feel right. But it, it feels right. Like, all the actors do a good job of portraying the characters they played 10 years ago. Um, their characters were pretty light. It was more about the actors than the characters. But they do a good job of making a big return, uh, and it's fun watching them kill zombies, hang out, and crack jokes. Uh, maybe the jokes don't work all the time, but for the most part, it's fun to watch this cast. The cast is still great, um, and uh, watching them have a fun time is, is a fun time. Big surprise there. Um, usually when you watch a character or a bunch of characters having fun on screen, I mean, you have to really screw it up, but for most, most of the time when I see that in a movie, I'm usually having an okay time. Um, Unless it's like Adam Sandler movie where they're always having a good time and I and I'm not <laughs> no, I'm not having a good time. Uh, but anyway, that's one positive is that the cast is still good and the characters are still likable. But one thing I actually really liked about the movie is the new characters, which I was a little worried about because Zombieland one one really worked I think because it's uh, because of its limited cast of characters. You had the four main characters, you had the cameo, and then you had one really small supporting character, and that was it. For that entire movie besides if you want to count some zombies which i don't think you do but uh and maybe some really 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 small moments where you see other humans but they don't they're not really characters they're just there uh but here we get uh we get of course we get luke wilson who plays uh, tallahassee's doppelganger pretty much you got uh, uh thomas middleditch who plays uh, jesse eisenberg's uh doppelganger if you've seen the trailer you know what i'm talking about we'll get more into those characters in a minute 
But you also have Rosario Dawson, who pretty much plays Tallahassee's love interest. She's a big uh, Elvis fan, just like Tallahassee. There's a whole thing about that. Uh, but you also have uh, Abigail Breslin's new, I guess, like boyfriend, I guess you, you could say. It was like this hippie guy that smokes pot and, and pretends that he writes these classic mu like songs and stuff. Uh, he's a poser, pretty much. Uh, and then you have like just a small little characters that pop up later on. But the big main character, the big new main character is this character, Madison, played by Zoe Deutsch, who I thought was great. I, I want to say this real quick. Besides the hippie character, I really liked all the new characters. Uh, and they're not used a lot, which is actually... The movie itself is still only 90 minutes long. It's a little bit longer than the first one, so I got my wish about it being longer. Because um, that was one thing about Zombieland 1. It was like, ooh, it was super quick. Um, so this one's longer. 90 minutes besides 80, so not, <laughs> not by much, but, you know, good enough. Um, exactly where I wanted the first one to be. Um, but besides the hippie character, everybody else is likable, and I really enjoyed watching all their characters, and they're not in it too much, but Madison, she's like the new main character, she's a new part of the group, and she's great, I really do, I really liked her in this, because I've played, I, I've, I've seen Zoe Deutsch and other stuff, where she's played kind of serious roles and stuff, and she's never played this kind of like, this airheaded kind of like blonde idiot character before, and she's actually really, I know this is gonna sound like a, a backhanded compliment, but she, she's really good at playing that character, but to the point where she's actually like legitimately funny at making fun of that kind of character. And one thing I really like about her performance is that there's be times where she's like, oh my God, yeah, yeah, and she's doing that shit. Uh, and then there'll be times where like someone says something sarcastic. And what you said? <laughs> like she'll actually break out of it. And like, I thought, I thought at first like that was going to be a part of her character is that you find out that she's not actually that airheaded person. She just acts like that to, I don't know, maybe, uh, get get with some groups or whatever of, of survivors so she can stay alive or whatever um but no that, she's just an idiot that sometimes breaks out of her idiocy and just like the hell did you just say you being sarcastic oh you're being sarcastic all right all right okay haha <laughs> so she goes back she goes back to the airheaded thing i thought she was great i really thought she was like the best new addition here um Thomas Middleditch, though, really surprised me because that guy, I, I've always seen movies here and there, just little little roles, and I always like him, but he's not like somebody that makes me go, whoa, this guy. Uh, but here, him pretty much doing a Jesse Eisenberg, uh, him and Jesse Eisenberg together, just like immediately right there, you could tell both of these actors love what they're doing here. Jesse Eisenberg, I was wondering because I heard he's kind of a dick in real life, so I was like, did, did he even want to do Zombieland 2 again? I don't, I don't even know. Does he want to do this or does he want to do like... Justice League Part 2 or some shit. I don't even know if he's even playing Lex Luthor anymore. <laughs> but uh, does he want to just do that stuff? Or does he want to do Zombie Land? But he's in this. He's definitely in it because he wants to be in it. It really does feel like he's actually in it. Uh, and whenever he's on screen with Thomas Middleditch's character. And they're just like quoting movies and shit. And like Thomas Middleditch has his own set of rules. He calls comments. Uh, and <laughs> of course uh, Jesse Eisenberg. I should say that's his name. But um, yeah, yeah, he has his own rules of course remember from the original that subtitle is one of the rules double tap uh and it's just like fun watching them together uh luke wilson is good too don't get me wrong but he's he plays more of like a generic version of what woody harrelson's character is uh luke wilson plays like if tallahassee had not much charm he was kind of an arrogant dick and that's it like woody harrelson has that charm to him he might be an arrogant dick but he has some charm where luke wilson's just like he, he just plays this kind of just arrogant dick and that's it and to the point where like when those two characters leave the film it's really funny um great great performances from both of them i would say thomas Mildish was definitely a bigger highlight than luke wilson uh because <laughs> luke wilson again he's just playing kind of like a almost uh rosario dawson i love rosario dawson i really do but she was underused but for what she has in the movie she does a good job she does uh, and the hippie character, I don't even know the actor's name, but he's kind of, he's kind of lame, but he has a couple funny moments, like, uh, with the weed, you probably saw the trailer, but he, like, he whips out back in the movie, so, whatever. So, those are new characters I really like, I love, I love Madison as a character, I really like her, I thought she'd be annoying, and there's a couple moments where she's annoying, but I think that's the point, you're supposed to be annoyed by her to the point where you're just like you kind of feel bad for her at other moments you're just like oh shit okay I didn't, you know so i mean that sucks but i'm uh, sorry people are yelling but um yes yeah, so, new characters i really like uh the zombie effects too i will say that besides some of the cgi which i'll get to in the negatives 
I'll get to it. Um, the zombie, like, practical effects and makeup and stuff, there's a lot more of it this time. So you get a lot more gore, I feel like. Uh, and some of the action scenes are actually really good, too. Maybe I should add that for a, a plus, because there's a couple of action scenes before the climax that are pretty good. But anyway, uh, the, the zombie practical effects and makeup and stuff, they all look really good. They even introduce new zombies in here, which uh, end up not really mad. Like in the beginning of the movie, they do the kind of same, the, the same kind of thing they did in the first Zombie Land, where uh, Jesse Eisenberg's doing narration. He's just like, "Welcome to Zombie Land," you know, and he, and he does a new intro where he introduces these new zombies. Uh, one of them is called the Homer because they're stupid. Uh, another one's called like the Ninja because it's really like stealthy and tries to tricky and stuff. And that ends up not really mattering later on. I thought maybe at least one scene would matter, like maybe Woody Harrelson would get attacked by a ninja, a ninja zombie or whatever. I mean, that's all they call them. They're not actually ninjas. We, you know, they're quiet. They're, they're sneaky hunters. Um, and I thought that was interesting, but they never really did anything. It was just a gag from the beginning. Um, also, they reused some gags a little bit too much, unlike the first movie, where I felt like when they did, like, Zombie Kill of the, the Week or something like that, it'd be, like, once or twice. Here, they do it, like, three or four times. And it, it's vaguely funny, but for the most part, not the best. But, um... Anyway, I should get, continue with the positives. Uh, the zombie stuff is great. The action is actually pretty good. Some of it until the time I get to. Uh, the characters are likable. The new characters are likable. Uh, it's a short, breezy movie. Still 90 minutes. It went it went by pretty quickly. And uh, yeah, I, I liked a lot of the movie. Now like, let's get to the negatives. <laughs> All right, so negatives, I have a few. I definitely have a few. And I'll try to get through them quick because... They're big ones, but they're visual. Well, two of them at least are visual. One of them is visual. The other one is a spoiler, but also visual. So I'll try to get to through them pretty quickly. Um, but they are big complaints I have of the film. Um, one thing I mentioned earlier is the CGI. The CGI is bad. I would say like it, it ranges from that looks fake to that looks really fucking fake <laughs> like, to the point where I know there's a zombie land video game that just came out with the movie, which I'm sure is terrible. Um, cause I haven't heard anything about it and it, it's been out for like a week at this point And I, I don't think there's like a single review out. Uh, so I'm assuming it's terrible. I would like to play it cause I love bad games, but <laughs> it's, I, I, I'm assuming it's terrible, but there's times where the game, I mean the game, the movie looked like a game, like the CGI was so bad, like especially with some of the zombie action. Uh, like I said, I, I like some of the zombie action, but it was mainly just because of like the characters. Like there was a whole action scene where like uh, Jesse Eisenberg's character Columbus has to point out where all the zombies are around a bus, so everybody's coordinated to be like, all right, uh, four o'clock, five o'clock, you know, like stuff like that. So I thought that was really interesting, but there was some really bad CGI where it's just like uh, zombies are jumping off the bus and hitting their heads on the ground, and it's like bad cgi like character model like they didn't actually want to get a person to do that so they had to use cgi which i understand because the way he landed would have <laughs> i mean they could have faked that some way but the way they faked it was the p poorest way possible because they didn't have the budget to make it look real uh and the whole climax which that's my next negative by the way all of it looked fake like it looked horrible like to the point where they 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 shot it at night and even, I feel like they shot it at night and even made it much darker, just, you know, <laughs> to make it so you can't see the shitty special effects. And, uh, yeah, it, uh, it looked bad. I, I thought it looked really terrible, which is a shame because the climax of the original Zombieland was all practical stuff. I mean, there was a couple CGI shots here and there, but for the most part, it was really just like a guy running through a carnival, you know? A couple guys running through a car carnival, uh, a lot of gunplay and stuff, and in the last, in the climax, it was just kind of like, I don't know, it ended okay, but for the most part, the whole buildup was like, it's a, like the cameras were shaking and stuff, I couldn't tell what was going on, and the CGI was terrible, it was just like, I don't know, I, I should be getting hyped, but I'm not, I'm, I'm just not, I'm not even laughing either, which is my next complaint, is that the humor in this film, compared to the first one, is definitely way more missed than hit, um... There's a lot of moments where characters will just repeat their their saying, you know, like like Jesse Eisenberg will talk about the rules and stuff and mention how certain characters are acting the way they are. I don't want to spoil it, but and it's supposed to be funny and Woody Harrelson will say nut up or show up like 50 times and that character will say like that that saying's old. That saying's very 2009. I get it cuz the freaking movie came out in 2009. 
It's just like little fourth wall break jokes like that that are really annoying. And I get it. It's from the guys that wrote the original movie and also wrote Deadpool. I get it. <laughs> so we put a little fourth wall break jokes in there. I'm sure they're used to doing that now. It's just, I don't know. Yeah. I, I didn't care for it, and I, I thought the humor itself was definitely more missed than hit. I will say, though, there is a after credit scene. Not an after credit scene. It's like a mid credit scene that made me laugh really hard, and only because it was based around a certain actor. <laughs> and I loved it. I really did. And, and sadly, they spoiled that cameo in the freaking trailer, which is really annoying. Uh, the second trailer that came out or whatever, I wish I didn't know about that, because that would have been sweet. Because it was it's after the movie ends. <laughs> Because I was watching a trailer and I was like, how the fuck are they going to fit this in the movie? And, and I'm like, oh, they don't, really. <laughs> it's just a cameo thing. And I thought it was cool. Even though there was a cameo from a certain trailer reactor that I was not a fan of. I'm not going to say names. Not going to. Just going to leave it there. <laughs> but anyway. Um, yeah, so the humor is just more missed than hit. But I did really like that uh, mid credit scene. Um, and I feel like the movie has an over-reliance on that first film. Like, really, like, when it comes to the humor, and when it comes to the characters, and when it comes to just certain things, it's over-reliant and doesn't really set its own style, you know? I mean, I get it's a part of the same series, and they want to make this, like, the narration and the rules and all this stuff a staple of the series, but I feel like they didn't really add enough new stuff to the sequel to warrant the second sequel having anything to do with the the sequel you know what i mean like the if there is another sequel which it most likely will happen because the movie's doing pretty well um it's not gonna have like at least i don't think it's it's gonna have much to do with this one <laughs> like to the point where like maybe one character will reappear in the sequel but there's not much in this movie when it comes to its own style, does it? You know what I mean? Like the first one had had all you know, like the credits would be there and people would knock them away, and you have the the narration and you have the rules and you have I don't know, just a nut up or shove. This one just doesn't have anything new in it. It's just the same stuff. It's just more. It's like DLC, you know, for a video game. You know, you just get extra stuff. It doesn't really add much, but it's just more gameplay time. It's pretty much like that for a movie. Except this one's way longer than the original movie, which, well, maybe not way longer, but you know what I mean. Um, it's just, I don't know. It, it's a nice reunion more than, you know, like, what I was hoping it would be, which is a, a great, fun film. And it still is a fun film. It's just not a great, fun film. As moments, I like Thomas Milditch. I liked uh, Zoe Deutsch. And, of course, I like the main cast. Um, it was still funny in parts. It was like 40% funny over 60% not funny, which is still 40% funny, which is way more than Jexy, I'll tell you that, uh, which I should have reviewed that movie. I don't know why the fuck I didn't. Uh, that would have been a fun review. Oh, shit. <laughs> Woo! Maybe I still will. Play cards right. Uh, it's just... It's just... I don't know. It's a disappointment. It really is. I love the first movie. I really do. I just watched it again two days ago, and it really works still. It really does. It's really funny, and when it's not funny, it's just fun. Watching these characters do stuff and the relationships they build, it's just... It's 80 minutes, so you don't get, like... It's not like a, a season of a show. I'm not saying, like, oh, the, the relationships are built, but, like, realistically. But it's just... It's a fun movie. It's You can watch it any time. This one, I don't think so. I think you'd be bored in a lot of parts, but especially that shitty-ass climax. Sorry, it's not shitty, but it's not great. So if I had to give this a score from 0 to 10, I gotta give it a 6 out of 10. Not terrible. That's above average, but... It's definitely not as bad as stuff like Hot Tub Time Machine 2 or Bad Santa 2 or um, I'm sure there's other ones. Uh, sequels to movies that took, it took a long time to get a sequel for, I guess. Especially comedies. Um, but uh, it's definitely not great. Sad day. Sad day indeed. Anyway, that's my review for Zombieland 2. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, go check it out, I guess. I mean, it's, it's worth it. It's worth checking out. Especially if you're in the mood for something horror related uh coming up to halloween of course uh, i'm sure that countdown movie is gonna be terrible so this is like your only choice besides maybe some fathom events like i know they're showing alien again like in the fathom event which i definitely recommend watching that over this <laughs> if you've never seen alien at least or if you just want to watch alien again in a theater then i highly recommend it but um yeah it's not great not great this October is definitely not as good as last October when it comes to horror movies because, I mean, you only had Halloween, but that, that was all you needed, baby. <laughs> like, I mean, Halloween, a new one? Are you kidding me? 
Zombie Land's cool, but it's not really, you know, it's not scary. You know? if, even if this was a 10 out of 10, it would be like, yeah, it's not really exactly what I would want from a Halloween movie or a October movie, but whatever. Countdown is closer to what I expect from a shitty October release. Um, not this. Not that this is shitty. It's closer to shitty than amazing, though, I guess I would say.